So the question that I'm asking today is having to do with the barcode scanner. So this right here was purchased directly from Clover. And when it's purchased from Clover, it actually gets installed uh, as a barcode scanner as opposed to a keyboard or a simple HID mode. And that affects a, a couple of things. For one, then you can actually read price embedded barcodes, such as this one. And here's an example. Uh, why don't I plug in this barcode scanner and demonstrate. So here's the hub for the Clover. And I'm just plugging it in. There is the noise, and then we can just use it. Five ninety nine, five ninety nine, right? Um, and then here is a barcode scanner that I have. That's a Scan Avenger. Uh, it's a barcode scanner that's not from Clover, and it looks like this. And these are the components. So. I have this little thing that I believe maybe I can grab and plug in here. I'm going to unplug this barcode scanner and plug in this one. So let's just see if that works now. So I'm going to grab this here and it has the barcode. And I'm going to go ahead and scan it. Okay. Let's try it. Okay, that didn't... Let me find something else to scan. Alright, so... I have this. There it is. And you can see it picks up on the Grizzly, right? So... Um, here, let me do manual verification. There it is, apply. Skip loyalty. All right, so here it is, it picked up on the Grizzly, okay? But if I go back and scan this barcode, it's gonna take me to add item screen, right here. Watch, add item. And if you look at what it's scanning, you know, it, Basically, there it is. And no matter what you try, it's not going to work. Uh, because, and, but it will work with any other item. Uh, literally, I can grab a bunch of other barcodes. Like this one, it'll work. No problem. Watch. Okay, I just don't have that item. But let me make it buy. So now we have buy. And there it is. And if I scan it again, there's my buy. Okay, so it works. It'll work on this item. If I can scan it there, that one. Finds the model. But it will not scan my driver's license. Okay, so let me scan the Grizzly. That will prompt me for age verification. All right, and if I try to scan the driver's license, this is what happens. It just gets caught in the loop. Now, this is a perfect example because this is a keyboard as far as Clover is concerned. It's not a, uh, a, 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 a true barcode scanner. Now, let me demonstrate. I'm going to unplug my this scan Avenger thing. And I'm going to go back to the Clover barcode scanner. Um, let me get that. So here it is. A Clover barcode scanner. Alright, and I'm just going to go ahead and scan my driver's license now. And it does that. Age verified. So... The reason why it works is because this right here is a true barcode scanner as far as Clover is concerned. But when this thing is plugged in or any other barcode scanner, including the one that you've shown me on your pictures, it's a keyboard. And keyboard can't do logical stuff like reading price embedded barcode or the back of the driver's license. And I'm sorry to pile on, but that is what you're experiencing. Thank you.